So to save time, I already put my concealer and foundation on. And then with some Makeup Forever Duo Matte Powder, I'm going to set my entire face. By doing this, you'll prevent any creases or smudging from your foundation. Finally, to avoid looking cakey, knock off any excess powder with a brush. Today for my brows, I'll be using this waterproof Stila brow pen. So with that, I'm just going to fill my brows in as usual. To prep my lids for eyeshadow, I'm just going to use that concealer as primer. And then with the lightest shade from the palette, I'm going to pat that all over my lid. This will be our base color and will make other eyeshadows glide on smoothly and show up better. Next, take the two matte brown shades and mix those together to create your crease. Start from your outer corner and then move towards the center, blending as you go. Take some more of that deeper brown and then work that into your lashes as well. Then I'm going to take this beautiful pink color called Buzz on the centers of my lid. And with a clean fluffy blending brush, I'm just going to blend those colors out for a seamless look. For some more dimension, I'm placing the gold in between the crease and the color Buzz that we just used. This will create a very interesting yet beautiful gradient. To add more definition, I'm taking the darkest color in the palette and running that on my outer corner. When pulling the color from the wing back to the center of your lid, make sure to blend as you go. This will make your eyes appear more sultry and smoky. When you're happy with the intensity of your crease, it's time to bring out the big guns. Take out your fluffy brush and start blending away for a seamless, smoky look. If you find that you lost a little bit of intensity when you were blending, just add some more black shadow to the outer corners of your V. What I like to do when defining my outer V is I just like to plop the color down and then drag it across my lid ever so slightly so I don't have to blend as much and I already get an automatic gradient. For my lower lids, I'm just going to take Buzz and run that about two thirds in. And then with the darkest color, I'm just going to put that on the outer corners, connecting it to the top. To make your eyes sparkle, take some of the two lightest colors, blending them together, and put that in the inner corners of your eyes. Next, to clean up your brows and highlight your brow bone, use this matte shade. To add a little more definition, I decided to go into the Lorac Pro palette and use the matte black to line my eyes. I initially just wanted to create a wing, but then I decided to bring that into the crease so I could get more definition. Next, we're going to move into contouring, my favorite part. Using this matte brown shade from the Lorac Pro, I'm going to slim down my nose, and then with the finger, just blend that in. For contouring my face, I'll be mixing a cooler brown as well as the brown that I used before to highlight my cheekbones as well as under the jaw. The reason why I'm mixing these two colors is because I like using a more neutral to cool bronzer to contour my face. For my blush, I'll be using this one from e.l.f. and with a stippling brush, I'm going to lightly buff that into my skin. Remember to blend into your contour as well to create a seamless look. And then with a fan brush, use those two highlight colors from the palette and put that on your cheekbones. Next is to curl your lashes and add mascara. For this look, since the eyes are kind of heavy, I decided to go with the nude lip. I'm filling that in with a matte lip crayon and then I'm topping that off with some gloss. To accentuate your cupid's bow and make your lips look extra kissable, take that highlight shade and put some on your cupid's bow as well as the center of your bottom lip. And that completes the look! This smoky and beautiful romantic look can definitely be casual or dressy depending on what you wear. I hope you guys enjoyed this look and try it out. See you next time! Bye!